We are going to add some UI to remove parties from the database. You can do it pretty much however you want. In our case, I'm going to create a floating action button that is going to be in the bottom right corner and it's going to be of color red. The idea is that when we click this button, it's going to call the delete party function and it's going to pass the current party's ID. Now we save the page and since we are using this party ID in our view, we need to change it from private to be a public class variable. Let's go ahead and create that delete party function. Right now it's just going to take the party ID and log it to the console. When we click on the button, you see that it's logging the ID in here. To remove a document from Firestore, the first thing we need to do is to create a reference to that document. We do that with the doc function, we pass the database instance, and we pass the path to that document. Then we call the delete doc function and we pass the document reference. Remember to import the delete doc function from the Firestore package. Since the delete doc function returns a promise, we are going to tell it that after it resolves, it takes our user to the home page. Now, when we click the delete button, we see that it removed it from Firebase, so it's no longer showing in our list. Database delete operations are destructive operations, so it might be a good idea to let our users know what they are about to do. That way we avoid that they click the delete button out of a mistake. In our case, we are going to create a prompt alert that asks our users if they are sure to delete that document. For that, we are going to go into our constructor and we are going to inject the alert controller. We are importing it from ionic-angular package. Now we are going to go back to our delete party function and we are going to create an alert. Since this is a promise, we are going to transform this function into an async function. And now the return type has to change also to be of promise void. In here, we are going to add all of the properties of our alert. First, our alert is going to take a header and a message. This is what our user is going to read. Then we are going to add the buttons. And the first one is going to be a cancel button. We wanted to say cancel and it has a role of cancel. So this button is not going to do anything other than dismiss the alert. And then we are going to add a button that says delete and it's going to trigger a function. That function is going to run the code that we had here to delete the document from Firestore. After that, we have to tell our function to display our alert. We do that with alert.present. Now, when we save our application and it reloads, you can see that if we click on the delete button, it's going to ask us if we want to actually delete that document. Then when we hit delete, it's going to remove the document from Firestore and we no longer see it in the list.